Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. Um, we're in my kitchen again. This is probably the third video I think in my kitchen. But anyway, I'm doing it in here because it's really terrible weather. Rainy and windy. Really difficult to film in the shed when it's like that. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you how you can essentially make prescription glasses without the glass. Just by getting a pin. So the reason why people wear glasses um, is because their lens in their eyes it can't focus as someone who has like perfect vision um, so the light ends up hitting the retina and makes it kind of blurry the image blurry instead of nice and focused which what it should be and so the glasses they kind of correct the angle that the light comes in making a clear image um, but how does it work with a pin so if you get a piece of card and you put a pin off through it there's only then like one spot that the light can enter through so instead of entering from here here, here, and here, it just enters from straight, and so there's no way that the light can then be out of focus and blurred because it's only one like beam of light coming through. So that's how it can focus. And I've got here this is a little lens. This can allow you to take really, really close up pictures and videos. Um, an example is a picture here of my eye. That's how close you can get with this lens. You put it over the uh, camera on your phone and so you can get real close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over the if you can see I put it over the um, lens there and it gets really blurry um, that's only because it allows you to only take pictures up real close so I'm going to then put this over the lens of, the, of my phone there and it will be blurry from anywhere about this far away from the camera lens to everywhere else. So then I'm going to try to use a pinhole to focus, see if it can focus through this. So let's do that. Alright, you can see me there. The image is very, very blurred. That is because I've got the lens on it. So I've got here like a cloth. See that? That's how close I can get it. Takes really, really cool pictures. Anyway, there is a message written on this piece of paper in front of you. I'm now going to attempt to have you view it, just to show how this pinhole kind of works. It's the same kind of thing with pinhole cameras. It only lets light in through one hole, and so the image that you, the picture that you take from the cameras, uh, is not blurry. That's how that works. All right, so I've got this little tiny piece of card here, you can see it's cling wrap. This is going to be very difficult to line it up, but... Basically the smaller the hole the better. Just kind of allows light to not enter at as many angles. Okay, I've moved the camera a bit closer, just because it wasn't quite focusing that well. But here we go. Oh, here we go. You ready? Can you see that? Hopefully, you can read that. So, there it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of the demonstration of pinholes. And as you can see from that, do not forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.